right, today we're going to learn about the different tunings for ukuleles as well as the different sizes of ukulele. So your traditional ukulele is tuned G, C, E, A. A lot of people know it is, my dog has fleas. And that's sort of a reference to what the word ukulele means, which uku means flea and lele is jumping. So this is the soprano size. As you can see, it's much smaller than the ukes that you've seen Craig and I holding. And this is sort of the original size of the ukulele. And it has that typical uh, old Hawaii sound, you know, playing a... So if you hear any old videos from the 20s or earlier, you're going to hear something that has more of this kind of sound and that sort of old uh, Hawaii music sound. Also, that G, C, E, A tuning is a C major six tuning. And you'll notice that our top string is higher than the string underneath it. So this has a fancy term. It is called reentrant tuning. But for us, that's just a uh, more technical term of saying high G on top. So instead of it being linear tuning where it goes from low to high, it has that jump where it's high and then goes into linear, all right? Now, there's a couple of different ways you can tune your ukulele. One is you could be like me and get yourself one of those fancy uh, electronic tuners. So when you turn it on, it you strum and it'll let you know if you're a little off uh, by either turning colors or the lines go in a different direction. Um, so that's one of the fastest ways of tuning. You can also tune by ear as well. For example, your G string, if you play the second fret of your G string and play your open A string, those should be the same. And also if you play the third fret of your, or actually I should use the fifth fret of your E string, and have an open A. Those should be the same, as well as the, actually that's an octave, the third fret of your C string and the, op, excuse me, the fourth fret of your C string and the open E should be the same. Mine is a little off, but those should be the same. And just to double check, That's a little better. So those should also be the same. But in order to make sure that you are in tune with your neighbor, uh, I highly recommend the electric electronic tuners. They are very, very accurate. So that is the soprano size. The next size of ukulele that you might run into is a concert size. So you can tell by how I'm holding it, it's a little bit bigger than your soprano. It has a slightly longer neck and a little bit bigger body, and it's still a lot of fun to play. So I'll play the same vamp that I did uh, for the soprano uke. Still that fun sound and still tuned in that traditional G, C, E, A. It's a great little size. Um, and it's a nice in-between size if you're looking for just a little bit more room for your fingers if the soprano feels just a hair small. As you can see, this next size is much larger than the other two that you saw. This is my own ukulele and it is a tenor size. So the body is a lot bigger, the neck is a lot longer, and there's more room for my fingers on the fretboard. That's the reason why a lot of people tend to use this size. They like having more room and more notes to pick from because the soprano usually only has about 12 frets. And this one, I mean, as you can see, this is where the 12th fret is. There's a lot more to go. So this size 
I think is also popular in part from people like Jake Shimabukuro, who also plays th this size, uh, Aldrin Guerrero, many other performers. They tend to use this tenor size, though you will still find lots of folks playing sopranos and concerts as well. Tenor size is also popular because it has a much uh, warmer and uh, richer tone. Because it has a larger body, it's more mellow sounding. So let me play that vamp I did on the others so you can kind of hear that. So it has a larger tone and is a bit warmer than the soprano. You will also come across something called low G tuning. The tuning is still G, C, E, A, but instead of that high G for my dog has fleas, you've got a low note, so it's an octave lower. A lot of times you'll see people with tenor, maybe concert size, but definitely uh, tenor size ukulele players, you'll see them try on this low G tuning. The uke really isn't built for the low G. It really is meant to have that high G on it. Now, it doesn't mean that you can't play with a low G. In fact, um, a lot of times I actually have I will play with both, so I will have a high G instrument and a low G instrument, but you cannot play it the same way. Because the uke was not made to have the low G, if you do, if you strum how you regularly strum, you know. You'll notice that that G string really just kind of eats away the others, and it's sort of this drone that happens that can overwhelm the instrument. So you have to be very careful with how you strum and how you pick. But don't worry, I'll get into some of that technique a little later. I just would like you to know it exists and is out there. Another tuning that I do not have an example of, but you will run into it, is a D6 tuning, A, D, F sharp, and B. This tuning is very popular actually in Canada. There are many schools that teach with that tuning. It was very popular on the mainland of the US in the 20s and 30s. If you find old sheet music for the ukulele, it actually is going to be in that tuning. It's a lot of fun if you find that old sheet music. The chord shapes are the same, you just won't be playing that is the chord name that is listed if you try to play those. So go ahead and give it a shot if you have some of that old 20s and 30s music around. It'll just be in a different key when you play. The last size of ukulele that you will run into is a baritone. Unfortunately, I do not have a baritone to show you, but imagine this is a tenor size ukulele. The baritone is actually larger than this. It's almost like the size of a parlor guitar. And it is tuned differently. The tuning for a baritone ukulele is D, G, B, E. It is a G major six tuning. It sounds very similar to this, except this string here is actually a low string. So, it's a linear tuned instrument, D, G, B, E. If you play guitar, a lot of the shapes you know and love from guitar actually transfer very well because it is the top four strings of your guitar as far as the, how the tuning goes. You will also run into the reentrant baritone tuning, which is what I'm holding in my hand here. It is D, G, B, E as well but the D is a high note, similar to how the G is high on the traditional tune. So it is, my dog has fleas, but they're much deeper fleas. So this tuning actually is popular, or was popular in the 50s. You will listen and find a gentleman named Lyle Ritz in some of your lookings around YouTube and things. He actually recorded an album called How About Uke, and it is one of the first jazz ukulele albums that came out actually. 
and he recorded in this tuning. There's another great jazz ukulele player who is one of my idols. His name is Benny Chong. He plays in this tuning as well. And when Craig and I perform together, one of us will be playing this uke while the other one is playing the traditional tuning as well. So those are all of the different tunings and sizes that you'll probably come across. Though, with how popular the uke has been, you might even find other sizes out there as well, like grand concert or grand tenor. But they're all basically based on soprano, concert, tenor, and baritone sizes. Mm -hmm.